Okay, you know what? I'll just I'll, I'll admit this right now, guys. If this becomes my life in the next few years, I won't regret a bit of it, but <laughs> I have to confess right now, there's just some anime in this world that does blow me away. Maybe just because I'm I'm used to watching the more serious shit. That's, like, hyper-violent and has, like, serious risks and whatnot. But, um, there's definitely some anime that kind of just take me by surprise. And I'm in the moment right now. I'm in the moment. So this, this could definitely change in the next couple seconds. But, uh, I started watching Spy X Family. And, uh, we've all seen the Instagram posts. We've, we've, we've seen some memes, I guess. I haven't seen any. I, I can only imagine what the memes are like, but I watched the first episode maybe a few months ago and I'm glad I rewatched it because I missed some post credit shit that was kind of cool. But then I get into the second episode where needless to say, the main character is trying to find a wife and, <laughs> Oh God. I don't know if I if I would be scared to marry this chick or if I'd be completely impressed in her ability cuz spoilers how the fuck is it that she's able to just catch a plate of gratin with her fucking foot in a stiletto fucking shoe and forger Mr. Forger is just standing there going, oh, I appreciate your dedication to not, you know, wasting food. You're, you're a master spy that's probably forded so many fucking wars, and you don't think in the back of your head, huh, it's kind of suspicious that this chick here just managed to capture that plate effortlessly without breaking a sweat. Like, I can only... I want to press play, but I just had to get that thought off my chest. I, I can only imagine if, like, more shit like this happens in the future, and he's just so oblivious to that. Like, he could tell in the first episode, he could tell that there was people in his apartment that were going to ambush him, but no, this random chick that just magically happens to walk into the dressing shop ten minutes earlier just manages to capture a plate of gratin with fucking ease. Oh, God. I know I'm jumping the gun. I should really just, like, watch the entire show just to compile this into one thing. But, hey, you know, if you're going to make money off of YouTube, you need some, you know, some short, you know, short, easy-to-digest videos like this to build up a fan base here. But, oh, oh I can only imagine what the rest of this show is going to be like. I don't know. That's just a short few-minute clip. Maybe I'll add more to it in the future. Who? Oh, wait a minute. What, what am I talking about? I can just pause this shit. So maybe there'll be more to add on in the future. Let, let, let's just test this out here. Okay. Thank God for modern technology. Uh, yeah. I, I'm still watching the episode. And, uh... They're, they're just made for each other. They're both oblivious to who the fuck they are. You know? Uh... Fuck it. More spoilers. Fuck it. You guys are going to watch it. It's only the first couple of episodes. Hell, I recommend it. It reminds me of Mr. and Mrs. Smith only, you know, who's animated. So, yeah, you know, apparently there might have been a tracking device in a, in a, in a van that, you know, Forger may have commandeered after a previous mission that made him late to the party. And he's just knocking people out, guys in fucking suspicious gear... And he's saying, oh yeah, they're my patients because I'm a psychiatrist. And, and, and she believes it. Yor believes it. Like, okay. I, I don't even think suspension of disbelief here works, guys. But, you know, they just roll along with it. And he's like, hey, come with me. Uh, yeah, we gotta avoid my psycho patients. Uh, yeah, don't worry. Me club him on the back of the head with a fucking pipe. Yeah, that, that's a great way to, you know, reset their fucking moods. It works perfectly fine. And then there, there's a near-death experience. He's like, oh, I can't dodge a fucking knife. Oh, oh, so you mean you can't dodge a knife, but you can take on 30 fucking guys that appear effortlessly? No, 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 no. That That's just convenient writing. I mean, I'm not upset about it. <laughs> if anything, it's fucking awesome. But then, you know, just out of the blue, your just does a fucking whirling kick and kicks a fucker 30 feet, sends him rolling. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry, my amateur tactic didn't work that well. 
Amateur. Amateur. I swear, if this goes an entire 12 episodes without them figuring out what their true occupations are... They're, they're, they're horrible at their fucking gigs, let me just fucking tell ya. But, yeah. This is, uh, getting even wilder. Uh... And then just, you know... Out of the blue, just like a scene out of fucking Metal Gear Solid 4. Yes, you know where this is going. Just as they're running away from a guy with an AK, or, you know, rather, they both kick their fucking asses, just bolting down the street, oh, hey, Lloyd, can you marry me? Like, and he just stops dead in his tracks. Like, you would have mistaken he would have gotten shot and fell. Flat on the fucking ground. I'm scared to keep fucking watching this shit. I really am, but... It's just a good... It's these type of shows that just have comedic gold every second. And you just can't help but fucking talk about it. I know I'm extremely late to the fucking party, but... Hoo-hoo! Ooh, this shit's getting good, ain't it? It's only in the second episode. Yep, this is literally Mr. and Mrs. Smith, but... With, with spy tactics... Best fitting end ever to an episode. They should have saved this for, like, the fucking last episode. But, I mean, hey, you gotta build off of it somehow. Fucker grabs a grenade, kills four people in front of her... In front of, you know, fucking your. Which, if that wasn't enough to blow his cover, I don't know what is. Like, how do you explain, uh, you know, helping out your patients with an M42 grenade? How the fuck does that work? Who knows? But just tosses the grenade and pulls off the most Deadpool shit ever. Uses the pin from it. Puts it on her finger. And they're both like, until my mission's complete. Until my killing is satiated. Do us part. Now look. I'm not bashing on this episode. I'm not bashing on the show. It's, it's fucking beautiful. But wow. I'm very late to the party. It's just a shame that, you know, grinding in games has, you know, stolen these moments from me. But I guess it's just how you gotta balance out the wasteful life of a fucking nerd, right? Gotta balance out, you know, the fucking, the grind to the entertainment. The, the fucking virtual killings to the virtual appreciations? I don't know. But that's just... Oh, God. I I gotta improve on this shit, but that's all I want to say. Spy X Family's crazy in episode two. I can only imagine how much crazier it's gonna get. And again, if they don't figure out who the fuck they are by the end of it, I, I can only imagine what a second season would be like. Oh, until then, enjoy, you know, enjoy lives, everyone from GT Gaming Den. This is like the anime branch. I don't know. We're just we're just going off fucking tangents here. Uh, it only be a matter of time before I start before I start talking about some other bullshit. But hopefully my co-host can get in on this shit. But uh, till then I'm kind of just doing these things solo in the comfort of my own home. But uh, yeah, take care, guys. Stay safe. Don't cough too much. Bye.